My name is Lisbeth Ellinger. I'm a veterinarian and I'm specialized in homeopathy. Uh, my practice is in the Netherlands. I get mainly animals who can't be helped in the conventional uh, medicine. So usually they have, they got everything and they're still ill. So then I can, I'm able sometimes, often, to heal them. Uh, in my practice, I mainly treat uh, dogs, cats, and horses. And um, I was called, well, a number of times by farmers who also wanted to use homeopathy and asked me what to do. So therefore, we started courses for farmers. And there they learn how they can use it in often acute, um, acute problems. And um, in the beginning, we started uh, in 2001, I think, um, they just did it for fun. It was fun to do homeopathy also. And um, then more and more farmers started to do it. So now more than 500 farmers did the course. But the last seven years, I think, there are more and more farmers who are aware of we, we must lower the use of antibiotics. So they come to the course because they, we, we, I, we don't want to give antibiotics anymore. And there are a number of farmers who say, well, I followed your, your course five years ago, and since then I didn't need any antibiotics anymore. So I have a very vast uh, uh, number of data, and we can exactly see what is easy to treat with homeopathy and what's more difficult. And because we can see that, we could, we could also say, okay, uh, everything around birth, that's easy with homeopathy. Homeopathy. So let's do, do research on it. And when I have diarrhea and coughs, for example, oh, if you give a homeopathic remedy, within half an hour or an hour, I see that they are more uh, lively. And after three hours, the diarrhea is gone. While normally it lasts five to seven days before the diarrhea is gone. So they see very big changes. So then I thought, oh, okay, so it's important if you do research, choose a disease with clear symptoms and preferable acute, because then you see the, the fastest changes with homeopathy. We did an, a study in piglets. What we see in piglets that they often contract diarrhea in the first week after birth, and then they usually get uh, antibiotics. And we want to reduce the use of antibiotics because we have to reduce them in animal husbandry. So um, we started to do a project to look if we could uh, manage it with, uh, by giving homeopathic remedies as a prevention. So we went to a commercial farm with 300 sows, some mother animals, and um, we, we selected the group in a certain uh, uh, period of time. And we got 52 sows, and 26 of them got a placebo, so a remedy where there's nothing in it, and 26 got a homeopathic remedy. The homeopathic remedy they got was uh, potentized coli, because we knew from the site of the diarrhea that the, the piglets got an E. coli diarrhea, it's called. So in the last month of gestation, all the sows got either a placebo or a homeopathic remedy twice a week. And then the piglets were born, and then the, we were looking at how many diarrhea the piglets would get. And in both groups, about 260 piglets were born. In the placebo group, 63 piglets got diarrhea. In the homeopathy group, 10 piglets got diarrhea. So that's a really, really big difference. So that was a very nice outcome. And very convincing, of course. You could also see that in the, uh, you have the litters. And in the litters where placebo was used, often many piglets got diarrhea. But in the, in the litters where homeop homeopathy was used, you almost every time saw that just one piglet got diarrhea, but the rest didn't get any diarrhea. So apparently maybe the most weakest piglet got diarrhea, but it wasn't spread through the litters.
So that's a very nice outcome also. It was randomized, it was placebo controlled, it was, well, you can see three or four double blinded because normally when you say I've done double blind research, it is so that the, the therapist does not know what he's giving to the patient and the patient does not know what he gets, if he gets a placebo or he gets homeopathic remedy. But this time, the farmer who gave the remedy didn't know what was in it. The person who had to do the observation and the statistics did not know what was what. And of course, the sow did not know if she got a placebo or a homeopathic remedy. But even the piglets did not know what their mothers got. So it was very, very blinded. So it was a very nice study. Yeah. Farmers are critical. They want to do things, but it must help. If it doesn't help, they don't use it. And when they use homeopathy and they say, wow, normally this, this animal would have died. And now we give a remedy and after half an hour it was standing and it was fine. That's really convincing. And you can't say, this is a placebo. People who say homeopathy is impossible, I think they're just arrogant. How can you say that if we don't know how something works, then it's impossible? It's ridiculous to say that, and I think it's very arrogant. Then there are many things that we don't know how it works, and still it works. And if you're a real scientist, you should look with an open mind and be rational about it. And that's what you miss in the discussions usually. I would like to say to the critics, look what your profession is. Are you a scientist? Are you a journalist? Can you really read good scientific paper? Or is it just an opinion? Are you just a fundamentalist who wants to state that he is right? Or do you wa really want to see the truth? And if you are really seeking for the truth, then you should read all the scientific papers with an open mind. I think the beautiful thing um, about homeopathy is that what you see in the patients that you are not suppressing symptoms, but that you are um, raising vitality so that the self-healing properties can make the patient better. And I see that in humans as well as in animals. And I think what's very good about homeopathy is that we do not pollute the environment. So the remedies are safe and they are, well, not polluting. So I think that's nice to say about homeopathy. Thank you.